I knew I was gonna need help. I was struggling in my writing. I don't even think I would have really passed, honestly, without the help of them. I wouldn't have been able to take the course. I probably wouldn't be able to have the diploma and I wouldn't have the skills that I have now. I felt like I could have done so much more with a little help preparing. As an international student, I don't know the culture. If it wasn't uh, for these services, I don't think I would be where I am today. If any issues came up in school, I could always contact the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services coordinator and she would help resolve those issues. Tutoring did help me out a lot. I got one-on-one -on -one help with someone explaining it in easier words that I can understand. My grades have improved tremendously and I am very happy for it. I studied English since I was in kindergarten and in a different country. I studied it for so long that I thought that a tutor would be useless, but no, that wasn't the case. I'm more comfortable, more confident about writing now. If I never got an EAL tutor, I don't think I would survive the program without it. I came and saw somebody at Counseling and Accessibility Services uh, once every couple of weeks and I always felt a lot better after talking to somebody. I came here for some pretty serious issues but I know other people that came just for stress coming up with projects and exams. It just made me feel a lot better and gave me peace of mind while I was trying to work through my courses. The uh, program staff were maybe a little bit hesitant because they'd never had a blind student in the program before. And what Counseling and Accessibility Services did was provide the options and sort of help to uh, coordinate. The exam accommodations have been really nice because uh, I've been able to write my exams on a computer with a screen reading program that I use. And then of course they helped put the uh, classroom assistant in place that I needed. So they've been a huge part of my success at Red River College. basically went through some mock interviews, went through some of the questions they're likely to ask, and how I want to present myself during these interviews. Certainly my preparation and help with student employment services was a big part of keeping that confidence, keeping calm during the interview, huge help. The student employment services helped me to tailor my resume and cover letter to the specific job that I applied for. I'm confident because I'm prepared. so glad that they have the Aboriginal Support Centre in place because I wasn't too sure about myself so they were pretty good with giving me some advice on the teachings and the traditional ways. We had a lot of availability with the elders and the support workers so just not having that I think it would have been very difficult and I probably would have been still taking courses or not even being here. The most important thing that interpreters helped with is communication. If it wasn't for that, I may not have been successful at all in school. Really, I had an interpreter full-time, which included interpretation for all of my courses, for tutoring sessions, for meetings with instructors or with other students for group projects or anything. Interpreters were always provided. They're there to help you through the process, to make it seem less scary. There's always going to be that moment where you're going to struggle, and they're always going to be there to help you out and it helped me a lot. I would recommend that anybody use these services too. If you want that help, it's there, it's free, and it's so important.